yo yo had attacks here just leaving work get the hell up out of here I know Halloween's coming up soon so everybody out there make sure you be safe going to any parties or whatever make sure you got a designated driver use uber just be safe have fun just get home carefully and all that but uh, in lieu of Halloween I actually do have a kind of a, a freaky story to, to share that happened to me it's my second job I was a projectionist at a movie theater and to paint kind of a picture of the projectionist gig I mean this was back when they had prints I don't know if they still do film prints or not. I'm pretty sure everything's digital by now because we were even starting to confirm to digital while I was there. But either way, it was attached to a mall. It was a rather large theater. It was about 24 uh, theaters. I remember working late one night and everything went well. I went home, but the thing is I had to be there early the next day. Uh, closed up, everything was fine. Went home, got a few winks back to work and I got to a projection booth to start my shift and I noticed like it was really really bright by my manager's desk like absurdly bright like what did he install like a new light or something like that so I go over to his desk and there's a latch in the ceiling that's open from the roof and all the sunlight's pouring into the projection booth and I'm thinking well, what the hell like who open that because it's it's about a good 15 plus feet off the ground so there's no way I could get up there to close it so not knowing really what to do I, I, I we had a little walkie talkie so I radioed to the uh, ops manager that was on the floor and said hey you know I got a little situation up here there's a latch open can you send somebody up to take a look so they come up there they're like well that's really weird so they got the mall security people on it we even had our own duty cops to security and they're they're checking out and they're like yeah the, the lock's broken and in the meantime I'm just going through my routine on on threading all the the films because we haven't opened yet but I'm getting everything ready so I'm threading all the films through projectors that are about to start soon and you know uh, and just doing my little daily routine and uh, you know they call the cops and and all of a sudden there's a bunch of cops up there now and they're sweeping the the projection booth they're they're looking all over the theater and i'm just like so i guess somebody broke in and they're asking me like do you notice anything missing but no i don't notice anything missing there's two of our bigger theaters that could be accessed from the projection booth to these like balconies that were installed to whether it be a super packed show or you know they had ha some handicapped people whatever there were, it didn't see many on these balconies it was like maybe i want to say eight seats up there plus like two little handicap spots somebody could park their wheelchair so i go to the one of the balconies and i'm starting to hear like this really weird noise so this homeless dude came out from underneath this seat it was super creepy and before I knew it, too, one of the cops happened to be, like, right near the area and, and came in with his weapon drawn, like, freeze and all that stuff. And, I mean, the homeless dude, like, went quietly. We didn't press charges. And then I think I gave him popcorn to boot, but, man, was he fucking creepy as hell looking. But, yeah, that was really creepy, man. Homeless dude just popped out from underneath the seats man he broke in because i remember it was kind of cold around the time and decided to huddle up underneath some seats some theater seats and go to sleep and he said he broke in the night before and there was a movie playing and everything like that so basically this homeless dude was up there the night i was fucking closing i had no idea i mean i would have probably shit myself if I like, heard some weird noise and some homeless dude jumps down into the fucking projector projectionist area and I have a run into him, like thankfully I don't know where the fuck I was at the time he was breaking in, but and uh, I think they told the from what I heard anyways through like the cops questioning this guy, he got it up on the roof like some part of the mall had like a ladder. He was able to climb up there 
and upon trying to find a place to get in, he chose our area. But yeah, that was pretty freaky. So, anyways, <laughs> homeless dude. But if you guys have um, any sort of creepy things that happen to you, uh, any scary stories, Thing in general you like to share please be sure to do so in the comments i love listening to those things uh <laughs> you know i'm all about halloween i love horror i don't scare very easily but i i i love this time of year it's great so uh but yeah everybody again be safe and have a happy halloween later